Hi, Paul Beckwith, University of Ottawa. So, in talking about the uninhabited earth, in the section, the end of food, this is of course very important because food is really like the weak link in the chain. Um, you know, what can bring down humanity or large parts of humanity is uh, food shortages. What could cause food shortages? Climate change. But notice what this paper um, in uh, New York Magazine, what this article doesn't really talk about is the jet stream disruption and how that is redistributing uh, moisture on the planet. But it does talk about, uh, you know, for every degree of warming, yields decline by 10%. Some estimates run as high as 15 or 17%. So let's see what the comment is from the scientists. Um, so they're saying, okay, they're from controlled field experiments, but it's really the changes in precipitation that are uncertain, um, that are so important, and the fertilizer effect of the CO2. I mean, this basically agrees, um, you know, the, 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 the deleterious impact of increasing temperature far outweighs the impact of increased CO2. So that comment is essentially agreeing um, with the uh, article. Okay, so let's kill that. Um, and, you know, the idea is, okay, there's, so there's eight comments here on food. There's six here. So let's have a look at what they say. Statements mostly accurate about the tropics being too hot to grow stuff. And, whoops, what else is there? Soils, um, okay, soils are very important to grow things. Okay, so there's not really disagreement with parts of that, the, f the food information. Um, talks about the dust bowl, talks about declining productivity. There we go. I don't know my, my computer. You know what? I think that I checked the computer. Computer's fine. Um, it's Friday night, um, 9 30, 10 o'clock. Lots of people are on the internet. Obviously, lots of people are still reading this article and they're going to this, they're, they're on here right now and the whole system is slowing down. I don't know, maybe the scientists are getting worried and they're going on there saying, hey, I gotta make sure my comments are correct. Because a lot of people are, yeah, this, this article, you know, where, where many of these science, from, this article is being quoted far and wide as, 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 as um, the, the article by the scientists criticizing this paper is going far and wide and, uh, you know, it, it's just, it, it was like, I'm sure, I think it's pretty being, hopefully it's clear to you now that this is really just a slash job on this paper. Um, I think these scientists are getting extremely worried until they have, until the world has some decent plan of attack on how to address the problem. Um, there's gonna be a lot of misinformation um, about how serious it is. Downplaying it is happening big time. Um, in these particular articles. So let's have a look, you know, what are these annotations? Um, you know, mostly accurate on the tropic stuff. I think I talked about that. You can't move croplands because yields are less because of soils, that's true. Um, Major arable land regions are facing desertification. This is happening significantly in China. Okay, uh, they're building the green wall to try to stop that. They're putting, it's also happening in many other places. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of slash and burn of rainforests and then it's to grow palm oil and then it's just left and the forests don't regrow back, things like that. Um, precipitation modeling. Is hard to model, and this person's saying it's not. Um, if you match the food growing regions with the Palmer Drought Severity Index, PDSI, there's a lot of overlap between them. So as we move forward, it's projecting that there's big problems to grow food. Um, 
And what else is there? Can we, the computer holds up on me. Okay, it's taking too long. Let's just close this and see if we can move on to some the last few points. There's lots of other points. Uh, climate plagues, okay, is discussed. Like I say, this article is missing some of the key ones. They should have had entire sections about extreme weather events increasing, about sea level rise, about, you know, there's many, many things that this is missing. And I, I, need, to, I need to get to write a book on all of this. Like it's, it's just absurd, just give, if I could get my act together. Perpetual war, stop doing so many videos, I guess. Um, no, I, uh, okay. I'm rambling big time here. I, it's time to stop, I'm getting too tired. What else do we have here? Actually, the computer's getting too tired. 65 million displaced people wandering the planet. I think this was an agreement here. Permanent economic collapse. Um, the flights, the GDP. No, no comments here on GDP. 1.2% drop of GDP for every degree Celsius. Okay, this is a very conservative number. Okay, uh, you know, 23% drop by end of this century. How about how about a 100% drop of GDP and nobody left on the planet by 2050 if we go the way we're going, right? I mean, you gotta, th these are models, right? So, okay, so I think the, the key point is, you know, we're coming to the end. You can have a look, look at the, the last things. The key point are, here's a paper I can go to the very beginning, if that's possible. And I'll just go down a bit. Oh, come on. It's not me, I promise. Okay, so this is really, uh, the reason I'm spending so much time talking about this is this is a huge paper, okay? This is a huge paper of very plausible scenarios that are coming to a planet near you that are coming to Earth, okay? We're experiencing a lot of these things starting to happen already, okay? Um, what climate change could wreak sooner than you think, okay? There's a lot of stuff that's happening right now today already. So here, this comes out, you know, it's like pulling teeth to get this article out in a mainstream media format, and it comes out in the mainstream media and then what happens is the mainstream scientific community has a knee-jerk reaction and they go and attack this article like crazy. They nitpick and they attack different things on it. And there's always going to be stuff that you can find. But they miss the whole big picture of how this article is so important in starting to let the public know how serious abrupt climate change is. Right? We're talking about exponential change in in, in uh, our atmosphere in terms of greenhouse gas levels. We're talking about exponential change in acidification of the oceans, which is taking out the marine food chain. We're talking about, about the sixth grade extinction. We're talking about extinction rates of plants and animals far exceeding any natural levels. We're talking about um, temperature rises uh, happening you know, much, much faster than, than uh, than, than we would have imagined just a few years ago. We're talking about methane releases in the Arctic. We're talking about a complete destabilization of the planet, a complete destabilization and fracturing of jet streams that guide our weather patterns. So a complete disruption in, in temperature patterns, in, in rainfall patterns, in, in weather on the planet. Things, uh, very unusual extreme weather events increasing in frequency, severity, and duration. Okay, it's just a matter of time as this is worsening, as we lose sea ice and snow cover in the Arctic, and the Arctic is becoming a much darker place. It's heating up from the additional sunlight that's being absorbed in the Arctic. So there's less heat that needs to be transferred there from the from the um, atmosphere, the jet stream, the, the wind circulation patterns, and the ocean circulation pattern. So a complete change in the heat balance of where heat is moving from and to on the planet. Um, all of these disruptions will, are, are causing havoc to countries already. 
Okay, the Syrian drought, climate, it says, you know, in the article, climatologists don't talk about it much. Look, 2006 to 2010, worst drought in their history. One and a half million farmers could no longer have a livelihood. They moved to the cities, no jobs, unrest, civil war, country breaks apart, right? And, uh, you know, the, the, the way that, what the mainstream media covers, you know, is they cover trivial stuff. And, and when they do cover more serious stuff, they cover some war somewhere or a person, you know, some attack, terrorist attack or something else that's happening. Whatever they do, they go out of their way to avoid talking about this, which was, will affect and bring down civilizations and affects everybody on this planet. So anyway, I, I don't know. I try to let people know. I mean, please share these videos. Uh, please talk about it. Please go here and... Uh, you know, register on the site the, the, of the scientists, right? And, and then make your own comments there. I don't know, I'm gonna try to do that and see if I can make comments on there. Um, you know, if you have, uh, like we, we need to, you know, we're, 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 we're uh, in serious problems here on the planet. So, you know, if somebody tells you that we're not, then uh, just point them to some of the evidence and uh, you know, don't spend all of your energies and stuff trying to convince climate denialists that we have a huge problem. There's lots of people sitting on the fence, okay? So you're much better off to spend your energy talking and educating people who have an open mind, who aren't so ideologically bent on saying this is the way things, things are, who are willing to learn and absorb new material and, uh, you know, there's a lot of people are going from, you know, pe people are going from, oh, climate change isn't the problem, no problem. You know, it's a Chinese hoax to, uh, you know, to all to the extreme that, hey, every human on the planet is going to be extinct in within 10 years. And same with most species and plants. I mean, the, what a spectrum, right? <laughs> what, what, a, what, a, what a complete spectrum. I mean, things are dire and things are very grim, but I, I, I uh, you know, I'm not leaning towards, I, there, there, it's absurd to think that, that all of humanity would be dead in 10 years. It's, it's absurd to think that, or to, 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 to have to listen to people say that climate change is a Chinese hoax. I mean, it's, it's, it's uh, incredible, but we need, you know, we need people to step beyond their everyday roles in life. Like we need scientists to, you know, step out of their labs for a little bit and really think deeply about how they can better communicate, you know, how risk, the risks and urgency of climate change. Um, you know, I, like the idea that we can stay within two degrees Celsius uh, from Paris, you know, with 1.5 degrees aspiration. I mean, what, what's the probability that we can stay to two degrees, right? We have a powerful El Nino and that on top of climate change and we reach 1.44 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial 1750, which is what Paris, uh, the baseline is for those Paris numbers, two degrees and one and a half degrees. And, uh, you know, 1.44 already. In fact, for the month of February 2016, we reached um, 1.8 degrees. So we're almost at the Paris numbers. So what are the, what are the chances that we can uh, stay below? I mean, you know, we're making great strides in renewable energies. We're making, but there's all kinds of different things that we can do. We have to, we have to recognize, we being the public, everybody, governments, politicians, policy makers, scientists, we all have to be, get on board on this or we're, we're, we're not gonna, we're not gonna make it. Okay, so I, you know, I always like to think that there's a good part of human nature you know, the old Kennedy sort of things, you know, we breathe the same air, we, you know, we drink the same water, whatever, you know, that type of stuff, we're all in this planet together. So we can either, I'll start rowing in the same direction to recognize that this is a huge problem, tell the truth about it to everybody, and then start dealing with it, with the resources that we have, with huge dollars that we have. You know, the, the enemy is not one particular country or one uh, group of people on this planet, which is what the whole military is, is preparing for, wars against other people, when the climate is bringing us all down. It's sinking all of our boats. So, you know, are we just gonna, gonna accept this and go down? 
I don't think so. Hopefully not.